Hi, welcome to another edition of Testimony Tuesday. I'm Mark Forey. I'm joined today by our pastor, Foad Ferris. Uh, Foad, thanks Hi, for joining us. Um, good to be here. Yeah, this is great. Um, you know, that we have a, always have new people coming in who may not know your testimony and also some old people that might either have forgotten your testimony or yeah, didn't that know includes me as well sometimes <laughs> <laughs> right that's why we give it so it's good to remind ourselves yeah uh, if anything so i uh start off with that question what is your testimony and then i'll say take it away so go ahead and take it away thanks all right great thanks mark well uh as i often tell people with a name like foad you know i am not from around here and by the way i talk you can tell i did not grow up around here uh, Foad is an Arabic name. I was born in Israel. My family came to America in 1970, and I was almost 10 years old when we immigrated here, and I could barely speak English. And uh, we moved to the Houston area, and that accounts for my accent and, uh, you know, the way that I, that I talk Southern. And people ask me about where we live now, and I tell them uh, we live in Southern New Hampshire, and so consequently I keep talking with a slightly Southern accent while we're here. But uh, when we came to America, I mean, growing up in Israel, I always thought that I was a Christian. And the reason for that is because you have three very distinct religions in Israel. You have a huge uh, Jewish population. You have a fairly large Muslim population. You have a small minority of people who refer to themselves as Christians. I attended a Greek Orthodox church. And basically, I was a Christian by default because I wasn't a Jew and I wasn't a Muslim. I was baptized and I'd gone to church. But I really didn't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. When my family immigrated to America in the 70s uh, in the Houston area, I had grown up in Israel playing soccer. And soccer was pretty much non-existent in the Houston area. I mean, if, you, if you're familiar with Texas, everything is about football. And, uh, and so uh, I started playing football in the fourth grade. I played in... Uh, middle school, played in high school, and then had the opportunity to play college football. And through my involvement in sports, I got involved in a group called the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And I got involved in FCA for the, all the wrong reasons. Number one, I was a freshman, uh, and there would be seniors who would be at the meetings, and I figured this is a great way to get to meet some of these older athletes that I looked up to. Secondly, the meetings were co-ed, there were girls there, and thirdly, uh, they, uh, they had food, they had snacks there, and I'm like, hey, those three reasons, I'll come and listen to anybody talk about anything. And so I went there, and God just really used that to begin to put a seed into my life, uh, because I always professed to be a Christian, but I really didn't have a real relationship with Christ. And... Uh, and a lot of times there would be speakers who would come in and speak, and I feel like they were talking right to me. It didn't matter where they were looking. It seems like they were always looking at me. And I think God's Spirit was just using that to try to penetrate my heart. Now, unfortunately, I was your basic high school student in the, in the sense that I live for three things. I live to play sports. I live for rock music and rock concerts that we attended in the Houston area. And, and then I just pretty much lived to party. I mean, my, my life was consumed uh, with alcohol, you know, in many ways. I, I drank a lot with my friends, uh, got in trouble a lot as a result of that. Uh, but, uh, but for the most part, because I was a, a straight A student and a pretty good person, you know, people just felt like, hey, he was a good kid. But I knew there was something missing. When I went off to college, I went to Austin College up in Sherman, Texas uh, to, to play football there. To be a, I was a pre-med student. Uh, when I went up there, but I uh, I got around some teammates who talked about FCA, which we had my freshman and sophomore year in high school. We did not have it my junior and senior year because we didn't have a sponsor uh, for it. But uh, but when I got to Austin College, I saw people who were a little bit more serious about their walk with Christ. And uh, in January uh, of 1981, I went to an FCA state convention to be an assistant counselor. I'd been involved in FCA on my college campus and went there to kind of learn and to, to see what that was all about. Well, during the training time with the rest of the athletes who were there, there was probably about 60 college athletes preparing for what was going to be about four to 500 high school and middle school students coming for the weekend. 
while we were there during the training time, I really began to ask some serious questions about God, what's the difference between these people and me? And I came to understand that weekend, January 15th of 1981, that I knew a lot about who God was. I did not have a personal relationship with him. And on January 15th of 1981, I really came to understand the fact that I was separated from a holy God because of my own personal sin. I understood, even though I could give lip service to it, that Jesus died on the cross for the world. But it really, that weekend became real to me. I began and truly trusted Christ. And in my ignorance, when I finished that weekend, I remember going back to college and telling our FCA president on my campus that, uh, that I'd made a recommitment of my life to Christ. I told my best friend with whom I had gone out drinking the, on that Thursday night before, uh, down, we went down to Houston and he and I went drinking together and Fridays when I went to this convention and God really began to transform my life. And I remember telling him on Sunday when I went back home, say goodbye to my parents for going back up to college uh, with a couple of friends who came down with me from there. I remember telling my best friend, hey, Don, this was probably the best weekend of my life. He goes, what do you mean? I said, I think I really got right with God this weekend. And he's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. And, uh, but I remember telling Chris, the FCA president, that I had made a recommitment of my life to Christ. And I began to see so many changes in my life, even within that first week, that I began to realize that you really can't recommit something that was never committed in the first place. And that's when I really understood that I'd come into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So I look back to January 15th of 1981, my freshman year in college, as the time that I came to know Christ. And, uh, you know, the Bible tells us if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. He's a new creation. Old things are passing away. New things have come. And uh, the old things are continuing to pass away. I mean, there's still residual parts of it that God is still dealing with my life with. And just, I keep thinking, okay, God, when do we get over the hump in these areas? And there's other areas where God just dealt with right away and continued to help me to grow. And I've continued to do that. I was fortunate enough coming out of college. I stayed as a pre-med student going through college thinking, okay, I could be a medical missionary, but I knew God had called me to ministry. And my heart and my passion at the time was, you know, God, people, and sports. And I had the opportunity to go on staff with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes coming out of college. And I served with FCA for 27 and a half years before God called us away from uh, FCA and eventually called us to start pastoring uh, at Jaffrey Bible Church. And we're really excited about that opportunity. But God is continuing to work in my life. I mean, what we're studying, what God's currently continuing to teach me at this point. Uh, my word uh, for this year is the word uh, prostrate, which I want to be basically laying down before a holy God of just total commitment and total uh, surrender to him that I would follow him. And so God continues to challenge me to become more and more like Christ and uh, through obedience to his word. And so that is how I came to know Christ and some of the things that God is continuing to do in my life uh, since that time. And that's my testimony. So, All right. Well, that's great, Foad. Uh, thank you. And, and I know that um, I, for one, appreciate the fact that you're here um, at Jackery Bible Church and, and teaching you. us each week and just the way, uh, you know, we go through the scriptures in such detail. It's, it's great. And uh, it's interesting. It's fun. And you've been a big blessing in, in my life and I hope in many others, too. So, Well, I appreciate that. Thanks. Sure. So thank you for watching uh, Testimony Tuesday. Um, I hope you have a good rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Um, remember, if you um, want to come to one of the two services, either 8.30 or 11, you got to make sure to, to call Maria at the office and, uh, and reserve your spot. So hope to see you there and uh, God bless. Take care. Thanks, Boad. Bye, guys. Thank you.